Hey guys, I'm back again. So I'm still here at a hotel somewhere in the Queen City of the South. So I'm just uh, enjoying here, you know, I'm um, celebrating the annual Sinodog Festival. But of course, this is not what I'm going to talk about in this video. So remember about the Wirex wallet that I have shared to you last time in which it is the non custodial version of Wirex. So guys, just to let you know that they have recently rebranded to Coca Wallet. So in this video, I am going to show to you guys on how it looks like in our mobile phone. And are there any slight changes in the app aside from the rebranding? So if you want to know more about it, guys, so it's better for you to keep watching until the end. So before we get things started, make sure that you smash the subscribe button, hit like and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. And guys, just to let you all know that we're not promoting any financial or investment advice, so please kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description, as this is only intended for educational, entertainment, and informative purposes, just to be fair and transparent to all. And the insight that I have right here regarding Coco Wallet is going to be unbiased, so neither I encourage nor discouraging you from taking part of this opportunity. Because cryptocurrencies and Web3 projects like this one are subject to substantial risk and are prone to high volatility depending on the market conditions, and not only that, this doesn't give any promises or astronomical guaranteed returns. So it's better for you to acknowledge the risk and learn how to manage them at the same time. But if you choose to do so, well, that is on you already, your money, your decision, your risk, your responsibility, well, in other words, play safe and participate at your own risk. So without further ado, let's head over to my mobile phone and see how the Coco Wallet looks like. Okay, guys, so I'm now here on my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is that I will be opening the uh, Coco Wallet. This is the rebrand of the Wirex non custodial Wallet. So all I have to do is to search it on the Google Play Store and uh, this is the one so before i'm going to open i have to click on this one guys so last december 21st so it says and i quote we're giving the app a refresh to make your coca experience sleeker than ever and uh, you can see that this is my previous review regarding the wireless wallet now it's the coca wallet all right so what i'm going to do is that i'll be opening this and then here we go okay so uh, we unlock with touch ID, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so it's opening So you can see the dashboard of the Coco wallet. So um, I already have uh, some uh, balance right here So this is not testnet. This is a uh, real money and I have deposited some uh, matic from my non custodial wallet to my Coco wallet So uh, it's pretty smooth by the way and uh, you can see the other assets right here such as the uh, ARB, AVAX, Bitcoin Cash BNB, Bitcoin, and so on. All right. So let's try to explore the interface a bit to see if there are any changes, you know, aside from the rebranding. Okay. So uh, let's start first with the activity right here. So you can see, guys, that um, I've already deposited um, one Matic. Okay. So this is the rate. And it even detects some uh, suspicious uh, stuff right here because transactions are scam. You know, um, there are scammers who are uh, trying to uh, send some uh, fake airdrops, you know, in my address. So, yep, that includes the Coco Wallet itself. If you receive uh, these kinds of uh, ridiculous um, voucher airdrops, you know, and so on, especially in the Coco Wallet, guys, just don't touch it, okay? But regardless, since it's blockchain, it still reflects, you know, in your transaction history, okay? So, um, you can also... Uh, check right here for the receive and of course for uh, the security so um, you can see that um, I've already turned on my two-factor authentication and also I've already made a backup okay so just like what I have shown you in the past video when it's still on the Wirex wallet brand and of course um, this is your customer support um, if you wanted to okay now for their actions guys let's see so it's actually kind of saying that you're going to receive your assets. You can also send them. But um, if you want to buy, of course, uh, let's see. So it redirects you to their on ramper. Okay. So let's say um, I have 2,000 Philippine Peso and I want to buy some Ethereum that will be automatically deposited into my Coca Wallet. So and you can see that this is the rate. And, you know, for the options, you know, since I am a Filipino, so Gcash is recommended. And there are other uh, options as well, like the PayMaya, 
and there's so much more you know um if you are from the philippines okay but if you're from a different country so the payment methods are going to vary just like the last time they are still using the uh, on ramper if you want to buy directly rather than transferring from the other wallet to your coco wallet okay and if you want to swap guys so here it is so let's say you want to swap some arb and let's say we want to select the asset okay so as of this time so um there are no added assets as of today okay let's say if i'm going to select a different currency for example bnb all right so i want to select the asset okay so uh, for now guys um it's still in the works you know by the way so um maybe in the coming updates that uh, we would see uh, more options here and of course guys so uh, we could explore the dApps as well for now guys only the nearest is their supported dApp in which we can supply borrow and earn an avalanches protocol and of course uh, for the DeFi and exchanges so we know guys that the other non-custodial wallets have supported multiple dApps as well and are compatible but for the Coca wallet, it's still in the works. Okay, so let's say I want to access the Nereus. Okay, so this is the website right now. You can see uh, my dashboard, the deposits and the borrowings. Okay, so it really focuses on the WXT token itself. Okay, for the lending and borrowing. So uh, assuming you have some WXT, so you can just simply invest it. So as of now, there are no deposits found for my address. Okay, so already connected. And the same thing goes for the borrowings as well. Um, you could also check your health factor as well, just in case that you have already uh, lent and borrowed. And of course, right here, guys, um, I've already connected my uh, Coco wallet, you know, under the Avalanche chain. So um, you can see right here the NXUSD protocol, you know, the dashboard and the other options right here, guys. Okay. And they also support the Coinbase Pay. And this is the current price right now of the WXT as of this time in recording this video. And of course, guys, for the Wallet Connect, so it's kind of the same thing. You just need to scan your QR code in order for your Coco Wallet to connect some of the various tabs, okay? And also, you can check some of your active connections where you can monitor them. And if you want to uh, remove those connections, well, um, you can just uh, simply um, remove them, you know, uh, once they have appeared here. So let's say if I'm going to connect right now, so um, it displays, you know, for you to um, scan some certain QR codes, okay? Or you can just paste a connection link. So I'm going to close this. And of course, the so last thing for the profile. So you see that I've already done it, you know, in my previous video and as well as for your contacts and uh, the other stuff right here, okay? In regards to those uh, fake airdrops and NFTs, so... Um, it also displayed here, but guys, don't ever touch this because most likely there are going to be honeypot, okay? So this might not be deleted, but it's better for you to ignore it, okay? If you have ever received uh, this kinds of fake vouchers, fake airdrops, okay? So just a heads up if you have ever received this in your Coca wallet or any other non-custodial wallets, okay? So just don't touch. If you don't touch it well nothing's gonna happen in your wallet and you're gonna be fine so that's just about it guys regarding the rebranding of the warix non custodial wallet to the coca wallet well there you have it guys at least i shared to you regarding coca wallet especially its features in the mobile phone and so much more so if you want more information i provided all the resource links right here in the video description so i would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding coca wallet and if you have some questions that were not covered right here in this video of mine I would try my best to answer them for you or you can just simply head over to the official socials of Warix and Coca Wallet and get in touch with the real admins and mods to potentially answer your queries. And guys, one more thing. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit like, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends as well, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding crypto, Web3, DeFi, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury right here somewhere in the Queen City of the South. And I'll see you all on my next video.